Hello everyone and welcome back to the final extra part of Sonic the Hedgehog on Android. I'm on Marshy B again and now we're actually going to click in right now. And today I'm going to show you some extra bonus goodies that are listed in this, well not so much listed, but that are in this game. And to start things off, I'm going to go right into the help and options menu, which is, this is something minor, but I like it nonetheless. You can actually change the type of box art that appears in the main menu. Uh, I tend to keep it the Japanese one because that's the default, but you know, you can switch it to US one if you really want. So if I press that, boom, then go back, you can see it upgrade. So now it has the US Sonic cartridge. Same goes for EU as well. It's, it's, a, it's a neat little feature, but not the most important thing in the world. And uh, not only that, if I go to the controls menu here, you can tell there's a D-pad size and opacity options that you can set. So if I press this, you can actually see the buttons and uh, you can see me push the buttons like so, which is uh, pretty damn dope. Although I always have them set to zero because I have a controller plugged in anyway. Like right now I've uh, got my Sega Saturn controller plugged in. I've actually not tried using the Sega Saturn controller on this, so I figured it'd be nice for me to test this out live on a video as well. So let's move in to start the game. And uh, for this, I'm actually going to be doing a no save run because uh, there's a certain mode you can get in this, which is the level select codes as a cheat code. They can only access when you're in no save mode. So without any further ado, this begin. And if I click the plus button here, I can play as Sonic and Tails instead of just picking one of the three characters. So, boom. And now, right from the get-go, I just have to press on each of the four Sega buttons. You know, Sega logo letters. Hold down both fingers on the screen, and boom. We have a menu. Now in this, it's normally music playing here, what's the music? Okay, whatever. But anyway, in this menu here, you can change things like you can change which player you're playing as, you can change the spin dash being on and off, you can change the speed cap, so you can turn speed cap on, you can make, you can put on the Sonic 1 spike glitch, which is a really weird one, and there's an item ability, so you can choose which items you want, which Sonic 1, Sonic 2, which... Sonic 2 only really had, like, the one, the shield, only I mean, had a different art style, so I don't understand that. And Sonic 1 and Sonic 3, which is what I'm going to show off, because it does actually give you an alternate ability. And Jesus Christ, dog, you're ruining my mojo. So yeah, if I set the Sonic 1 and Sonic 3, I get an extra ability. And I can set the maximum Chaos Emeralds to 7, which means, well... Special things can happen if I want to get the seven chaos emeralds, and it does give me an extra special zone available to me. I'm gonna st I'm gonna kind of cheat you by typing in four one two six because I don't want to bother collecting the chaos emerald because uh, basically, if you want to see the seven special stage, go out of your own way to find it. That's what I'm saying. For now, let's just go right into Green Hill Zone and check out what is new. So because I activated the Sonic 3 thing, I now have the Instant Shield from Sonic 3, which is uh, it's actually something I really like. I'm surprised I don't really, I don't use that as much. I don't, I don't tend to find it as useful in this as in Sonic 3, but you know, it's, it's a nice little option. I'm surprised it's locked away behind a cheat code. Like, I would, I would much prefer that to be sort of available in the center, you know, ladies and gentlemen, but I don't know. Call me crazy. Call me crazy. But yeah, basically, the, the, now we can play with Tails, uh, wherever he's... There he is! Hey, Tails! And, uh, Tails... Can't really do much, he basically follows you. You can't even use him to fly, I don't think, so... It, it's more of an aesthetic thing, really. But, if I go over here... Actually, I just saw that right there. Come on, little platform, I want the... I want it. There we go. Lightning shield. Hell to the air. Give me all of your rings. Boom. And now we have 50 rings, so what does that mean? Well, I got hurt. But it means I can jump twice, and suddenly I got super form, which... As you expect, Super Sonic just annihilates the game, it breaks it in half. Due to how short the levels in Sonic 1 tend to be though, you don't really get much use out of Super Sonic. Like you transform and boom, the level ends, which is it's kind of just kind of shame to be honest, because uh, I love I love I, lo I love blasting through things with Super Sonic. Like even I had a discussion with one of my friends recently where um 
they found the idea of super forms to be like a really overrated and not necessary concept in games, but I, I, I can test that because I just, I just love the idea of being able to break the game apart as part of a reward for doing, you know, for doing really good, you know, ladies and gentlemen. So I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, but I, I, I've always liked the idea of super forms in games just to break the game apart. Plus, it looked cool as hell, just seeing your character transform into a golden behemoth and just plowing through everything. It's just something I've always liked. But, um, it's not really much I can say otherwise. Like, it's, uh, that, it, it, like there isn't too many extra content in Sonic 1, which is probably why I probably shouldn't really bother doing this video, but I wanted to, I wanted to show off at least some of the extra goodies you can get in this port, you know, because again, I have said before, this version is the definitive version of Sonic the Hedgehog 1, and it's a, it's nice playing through Sonic 1 with all these extra shields littered about, and uh, what have you, it definitely adds to the game. I know Sonic 2 on the mobile phones also have a similar thing with the Sonic 3 items, but what's kind of different about that is I, I, I when I last tried it, which is I've only ever tried this once, but when I last tried it, the items seem to always give me fire, like the fire shield constantly, and I don't know what was up with that, but you know, it's a nice little incentive to play through the game, like it modifies Sonic 1 just ever so slightly. I mean, some is I, I don't know if it's anything to really sell the game on, but hey, it's, it's just an extra bonus as opposed to the port. What can I tell you, ladies and gentlemen? What can I tell you? Indeed. By the way, this game just feels perfect with the the, the, the Sega Saturn controller. This, it kind of makes sense. Sega Saturn controller is basically a ex well, at least the Model Two controller that I'm using is an extension of the Mega Drive Genesis controller, so. Like, it's basically exactly the same with the six-button layout and everything. And the D-pad is quite possibly the best D-pad I've ever used. Like, this thing, it's, it's amazing. 10 out of 10 D-pad, hands down. But, boom! Delicious! And with that, that's all I'm really going to do for this uh, little video. Just show it off a little bit, but... Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't be sheepish, people, and I'll probably catch you all again in my next real LP, because this is just an extra bonus part. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you after. Bye!